are inside Ulala by Posh on 16th Street. It first opened its doors back in 2020, but just last Friday it abruptly closed its doors officially. And now all that's left behind are some dresses here on the floor and some mannequins. This place is basically now empty. And seeing everything firsthand just was very overwhelming. Chris Rangel says he owns a studio inside the dress shop. As we've reported, the owner of the store, Renee Cuellar, tells us Rangel betrayed her and is to blame for the store suddenly closing, leaving clients without a dress and out of money. Rangel says that's not true and he cut ties with her after disagreeing with how she ran her business. And the allegations that she's making, um, like I said, although they hurt me, I do sleep well at night knowing that I did have no play as far as taking the store down. Carla Ortiz and her daughter found the perfect dress at the store a year ago, but were left searching for a new one. She started getting very stressed. I started getting stressed. It, it got to a point where I, you know, I was a little bit down for a while, not knowing what to do. Luckily, another shop offered Ortiz a dress and several other stores like Mi Bella Quince, whose owner saw our story, are offering discounted prices and fast deliveries for Ulala's clients. I said, oh my God, who does that? Who walks out on these girls? on their special day. Although grateful for their help, Ortiz and her daughter still want to know why this all happened. They're ruining a part of something, a memory, big memory for me, and they're just taking away from people. Ortiz says she's working to find an attorney that will take on several clients to take legal action against Renee Cuellar. Right now she's saying she's having no luck, but she's gonna continue trying. Reporting in Phoenix, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Casey, thank you.